Have you seen this Israel Adesanya street altercation? People keep sending it to me. And what happened? Is it real? As far as I know, uh, he, even uh, Stylebender said he's he's going to file charges and report it to the police. So I'll show you the video first, and then you can go ahead and see. Do you know what on. happened though? Was the guy Israel, trying to start shit with? Yeah. Izzy? So Israel said that some car when Israel was trying to leave, like he went to get some food or something. When he tried to leave, some car slowed down and then started yelling out racial stuff, like bad stuff, and then got out of the car. And approach Israel, and then did people, the guy know it was Izzy? Yeah, I mean, so he, the guy had friends that were recording. So I think this is a thing to do something for social media or something like that. And he tried to get Izzy to fight. Izzy just did gestures and didn't fight him. Though. Interesting. Is so, Izzy and his McLaren? Yep. Oh, his friends are all laughing too, and he's like calling him racial shit. That's what Izzy says. The guy's in Crocs. Was the guy's move just to get hit so he can sue Izzy? Or social media. Ooh, that's a bad idea. God, how many followers you need, man, to get knocked out like a head kick by Izzy? Yeah, Izzy. He knows he's going to destroy this guy, but he doesn't want to get in trouble, obviously. Man. And this is what Izzy said. Uh, I'm extremely disappointed after an incident on Wednesday when a random member of the public stopped his car, race, abused me, and challenged me to fight. We have been in contact with police and will be pressing charges. I don't know what charges you can press. On Wednesday so, morning, I was leaving a cafe on K Road when passing cars slowed and occupant began yell racial abuse and challenged me to a fight. I smiled, waved off, continued my car, the vehicle stopped, and the abuse continued. I again waved off, the car then parked, and the pastor got out, approached me aggressively, continued to torment, abuse, and demand. I fight him. I tried to de escalate the situation repeatedly. As he got close, I asked bystanders to call the police. He then entered my personal space. I felt threatened to protect myself, I became more forceful in my language of defense. Defensive, though he paused, the abuse continued, so I left him with some choice words, cautiously moved to my car and drove away. Good for you, Izzy. It's ridiculous that I can't buy a pie after training. Damn, like a piece of pie? <laughs> Without getting into trouble. Like we're talking about like banana custard? Does he say what kind of pie? <laughs> Details we need to know. Uh, training without some idiot screaming despicable things and ask for a fight while mates film from sidelines. Yeah, welcome to fame, Izzy. Threatening violence is no joke. It's a very dangerous instance. Like this must not be glorified online. I hope in the future people say something rather than get their phones out to film. Yeah. Yeah. I wish that guy would have got fucking destroyed. I wish he did something to Izzy. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll bet <laughs> anybody right now that guy's not crushing life. Making those decisions, you're pr you probably don't have a ton of options. If you, if you and your boys like, man, let's go find Izzy. Because he goes to this place and always gets the apple pie. Let's go fuck with him and film it. You're not crushing it. You're not making money. You're not doing anything successful. And uh, this popped up in my... And also, how do you think that would have went, bud? Unless your name's Alex or Francis, you're going to get kicked in the fucking face. And then your buddy's going to put that... Oh, oh, you think those are your real friends? No, no, no. So you're going to get knocked the fuck out. And then your friends are like, he's the one that wanted to do it. And they're going to upload it. And then you're a meme for the rest of your life. Yeah. So you got to go back to your life that can't be great because you're choosing to pick on a world-class fighter who's getting a piece of pie, probably a delicious cut of pie. You're deciding to pick a fight with that guy. And the way that's going to end is you got to go back to your life that can't be crushing and you're concussed, dude. That's how that ends. He's probably just a douche that wants to sue and make money or something. I don't know. And also, if you, maybe he is an amateur fighter. He's like, oh, I bet Dana sees this supposed to be on Contender oh, God, Series. No. <laughs> no, sir. And if anyone told you that, you moron. You should not probably not be the friend. This popped up in my feed. It's uh, a, so there's a lot. I didn't mean to like it, but this is a, <laughs> this is apparently Nate Diaz at a club, and this bouncer he has some issue with, and I'll just I'll play it for you here. Damn, that bouncer's down, though. Yeah. It's a good-ass bouncer. Do you want to throw down with Nate Diaz? Seemed like it, but nothing really happened, so. Pause this, Jen. How old's Nate? Around 40, I think. Too old to be doing this. Yeah. I know fans are like, oh, dude, get, don't give a fuck, gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And plus, that's, that's be exhausting. For professional me. fighter. Too, you I always just, have to do that, man. In public, where is this? At a fucking steakhouse? I'm sorry. <laughs> was that <laughs> nightclubs? Okay. Alrighty. Oh, so this happened at this weekend's fights. I know it wasn't that big of a deal, but that Vanessa Demopoulos, she used to be a stripper. She Hell jumped yeah. on Joe Rogan's um, arms one time. It became viral yeah. after the fight. So this was like a pretty much a blatant uh, putting the fingers into her glove thing. And then once she did, the, her opponent did that, she immediately got submitted, like right, or like very, very close to afterwards. And remember I told you, we talked about it here too. The, I think there's such an easy fix if you just, you know that they already taped the strap, but if you tape around the opening and onto your forearm, then they they won't be able to get into the gloves. Yeah, yeah, but that'll limit a lot of uh, wrist mobility. Yeah, would it that much? Yeah, be a problem. It's just no. Th the tape would be here. Tape your arm up tomorrow, Chin. What? Tape your entire <laughs> arm up tomorrow. Chin's like, no, dude, just like here, like a cast. It's, that, it's no the elastic problem, tape. It's you, not, you're it's missing not a cast. it. You're, you're putting a band aid on a fucking hole in your boat. It's gonna what? sink. The issue is the judging. Yeah. Well, they, yeah. How the fuck do you miss that? And the commentary team was like, I didn't see any issue. They all did. But then if you see the pictures, it's obvious that her fingers in, inside the glove. We know, right? They're getting paid. I don't know. <laughs> but you can tell right there, it's inside the glove. That's I don't, different. I don't, I'm not, I don't agree with you guys on the whole mobility thing. We, we can try it here later. I, I seriously think it's, it's just elastic tape. Elastic no, tape. They but, don't use elastic tape. They use like a duct tape. Yeah, no, it's, I'm it's saying use elastic tape. And, and it's hard. For the forearm, use the elastic tape. Is what I'm saying. I'm just telling you, Chin. Uh, you got to. No, it's to... it's going to be taped here. It's not on the wrist. It's taped here. Tape higher. It's got to connect. It's got to connect to the thing in order to. Yeah. So go around it. around here and then move it over towards the forearm. Grapplers aren't going to like that. Strikers would love it, but grapplers aren't going to like it because you got to have that mobility. We should try it here one day. See how you feel with it. We don't have any MMA gloves here, right? Just like boxing gloves. I can find some, dude. Okay, bring it in. Let's try it. Um. Yeah, it's just this is a problem with judging. How do you miss that shit? I, I don't, I don't get it. So if it's that blatant and it led to a finish, Insane. this could be. A, How do you not review it? You can appeal this, right? Yeah, but they never. They it's never rare. I know it's rare. Very rare. And she's a stripper, dude. What are we doing? <laughs> Give her some fucking slack, man. Doing the Lord's work. She was. She's a fighter now. Uh, I'm pretty sure you saw this in the headlines at some point. Where Conor McGregor says he's running for president of Ireland. Vice trying to salvage. What little? By the way, they spelled his name incorrectly too, with two ends. Oh Jesus! Like they don't know MMA. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it's a long post, but it just came like randomly out of nowhere. Him running for president mm -hmm. of Ireland. Good for him. Hope he wins. 